Hi, I'm Lucas Mack, and I want to personally invite you to watch the following video. When I got on stage, I told my personal story of how I received the healing and freedom that comes on the other side of vulnerability. And I am on a mission to see people who are held back from negative cycles, from personal trauma, and past stories that they cannot get out of to understand their own personal power resides in their vulnerability. I speak to athletes, to CEOs, to business leaders, to employees, to nonprofits and for profits, and to student organizations. I am on a mission to see the hurting get healed and the healed go out and heal another. This word healing isn't used too often in our current vernacular. However, everyone carries hurt and pain, and it is that hurt and pain that holds us back from experiencing the life and freedom that we truly want to live. I ask you to join me in this generational movement and let's share the message of freedom is possible through the power of vulnerability. Thank you. Where love is present, truth will come forth, resulting in our personal freedom. Being struck as a child creates a lot of pain and trauma. Not just physical pain, but emotional pain as well. And confusion. I wasn't beat, I was spanked. It wasn't abuse, it was discipline. And I was told it was all done in love. And that confusion, and that pain and the fear that I carried with me every single day led me to at the age of 20 attempting to take my own life. And I am so thankful I didn't die that night. And instead, it took me on a journey to understand why. Why do people hurt people? I have learned this, that hurt people hurt people. Healthy people, however, heal people. I think it's a great lie in society that strips away your belief in yourself of how powerful you really are. How are you being in the world? How is your mindfulness, your awareness, your, your emotional intelligence, your EQ level? You know, the IQ is like the top of the iceberg. The EQ level is the depth of what's happening. Are you aware? of what's going on. You see, it wasn't until I looked into the eyes of my own children, and then I stared at my own hands, that I realized in my hands, I hold the power to perpetuate the cycle or break the cycle. We've all heard the term eye for an eye. How many of us think it means vengeance to get back upon those that hurt us? We're taught that, right? Let me ask you this, have you ever seen a one-eyed person fight a two-eyed person? Especially when the one-eyed person lost the eye in the first place from the two-eyed person. That is, I've never seen it. You know what that saying means? That saying means to take your eye is to take my eye. It isn't speaking to the victim. It's speaking to the person with the ability to become the victor and say, never act in a way that you would not act to yourself. We have to go back to the darkest and most painful memories and moments of our life to go into every corner of every memory of every room in our mind and unlock those doors to expose it to the light. You know, there's three ingredients that make a relationship. You have to know someone. You have to like someone and you have to trust someone. By putting words to the pain and speaking the pain, it began the process to release the pain. Instead of cursing the darkness, light a candle. You light that candle. You be the candle. You be the light. It is time as a society that we heal because I believe healed people have the greatest power to make social change. I invite you to go through this process. Face the pain. 
speak the pain so that you can release the pain. The time for healing in society, the time for your freedom, the time for our freedom is now. Not tomorrow, but now. Thank you.